A while ago, I did a race against another Pokemon YouTuber by the name of Candy Eevee, and we both made videos about this. I started the video with, I did a race with my friend, and she started the video with... So a few months ago, I was challenged by a Pokemon YouTuber. Pasha is a pretty small guy, you probably haven't heard of him. So today, I'm gonna react to Lucy's perspective and animated storytelling of the race that we did. I'm excited for this. I literally haven't watched this. This is my first reaction going to it and you're you're gonna get the real juice you're you're, you're gonna see the real uh, truths and the not truths of what happened behind the scenes in in this in this run and you're gonna get the hot juicy uh truths from all oh, of it that's a strange request does this man not know that i am a tournament winning world record holding formerly pocket monster champion does he know i did know that and that's why i challenged lucy because i knew that she was gonna be such a tough opponent of course i i went Went into this uh, being the underdog let's be I honest know how slim the chances of victory are why should i even accept this challenge i have nothing to prove i have better things to do with my time like playing I, the sponsor of this video bloodline what? heroes of <laughs> Bloodline. Yeah, i was saying we actually got the same sponsor at the same time look at that we uploaded a video at the same time we both had the exact same sponsor that's kind of hilarious play fantasy rpg and i guess like it's just gonna get another sponsor slot in this okay well i i can't i don't get sponsored on these more powers videos okay and collect champions to defend but it. i can't so there are lots of different characters i can't classes, not do like this they already sponsored me once so so, you know, Dragon thanks, Spotline. There's a twist. You can I appreciate that. You can get married and then they'll have a little hybrid <gasps> baby. Oh, so sexy. Will inherit talents and traits from their parents, and then you can make those hybrids have more hybrids. There are you can do so much sex. Combinations, so you can go for a hybrid that matches your style of gameplay. And they release yes. new characters. I love this month, gameplay. So it's only going to get crazier. It's officially it's so crazy. season now. And Bloodline is going to have a special <laughs> Halloween event starting today. On the oh my goodness. Of the event, you can even get yourself a free vampire champ. It's worth saying that it's not spooky season anymore at all by the time I'm uploading this video. <laughs> spooky. It's available on both iOS and Android and you can use my link in the description or scan the little QR code in the corner and get a special starter pack with 10 energy potions, 100,000 gold, no! and 100 diamonds. That was 100 of them. That's so generous of you. You can get them for free. But it's only going to be available for the next 30 days, so better get it before it's gone. Thanks Chats, once again can you believe this? Heroes of Lithos for sponsoring this video. <sighs> So I initially what a great bunch! This feeble attempt to challenge me, but then uh, d d it, oh, did you? I, okay, I'm not gonna show any DMs, obviously. But the time that I sent Lucy the first DM was at 10:25 p.m. and she replied two hours later. So that's not—I mean, that, that's not really ignoring it for a long time. I would say, all right. Then I learned that there was a sweet prize on the line. The winner would not only receive shed loads of internet clout, but something even more powerful—the power to. Tweet anything you want from the loser's Twitter account. <laughs> Wait, what's the challenge again? The game is Legends Arceus and the challenge is a bingo board. Pretty straightforward. There are 25 objectives and whoever can do the most in one hour wins. I know that's not actually how bingo works. I don't care. So you got stuff like... Okay, yeah, yeah. No, I, that's not... That's definitely not how bingo works. That's actually my bad because I wanted. I just wanted to say a bingo board. It's not actually how bingo works, but it looks better if it's on a bingo board. So that it's just... It's marketing. It's branding, okay? It's capitalism. Just shut up. Ten Ultra Balls, find a shiny, catch the tallest Buizel, a lot of fairly straightforward <laughs> stuff, but Buizel. since I only have an hour, I really had to strategize to squeeze in as many as possible. I spent a good two hours formulating my master plan for victory. So no, you didn't. Plan. We started no, in Crimson Mile. Did you really? The first objective Did she really? get eaten by Urzering. Huh? What does getting eaten by Urzering mean? I'm concerned. It may or may not mean finding an alpha Urzering and getting purposefully killed by it. Find the sacrifices I make for victory. So first we get eaten <laughs> by Urzering. I need three starter Pokemon, so I'll rush to the bottom of the map and grab a Turtwig. Then we head back to Jubilee Village, make ten Ultra Balls, and then go to Alabaster Icelands. I need to evolve a Pokemon two times, and my best bet is to catch an Alpha Swinub that spawns here. None of the other Swinub- Oh my god, she actually strategized this! I've never strategized one of these before! Maybe I should- maybe I should do that! I know the high leveled enough, but the Alpha's level 62, so he'll be a Mamoswine in no time. It also counts as one of the three Alphas I 
I need to catch. I also happen to have Wait, small. research level 9. So when I catch the alpha, it'll go to research level 10 and give me another point. There's a Hisuian Zoro down one of the holes. So I'll catch that, put it into my party, and evolve it later on into Hisuian Zoroark, which will be my Legends Arceus exclusive Pokemon for another point. I made this game mode, and I'm getting schooled in how to win it. And we head to Icebound Falls, where you can catch a Riolu and an Elekid, and that's two baby Pokemon sorted. Then we finally go to Obsidian Fieldlands. My priority is Bidoof. I gotta catch 15. True. Thanks Isn't that everyone's? For an entire team of shiny Bidoof, so I know literally all of the Bidoof spawning points, so it'll be easy. I gotta get a tall Weasel for another point, so I'll just catch one if I see it. I also need two evolutions, so if I see an Eevee round here, I'll catch one. Evolving two will be a little difficult because I don't want to waste my time on the friendship based ones, and getting any of the evolution stones is totally luck based, so I'll have to just cross my fingers. Side note, I didn't actually know that you could evolve Eevee with the rocks in this game, so I just made my plan in hard. Yeah, the best way to do this would be to do Leafeon and as well as a Glaceon, because you can just go to the rock and then level them up there, or just go to the rock and make them evolve there. That's the easiest way to do it. Finding the stones could be like an instant luck-based grab and go kind of thing if you get really lucky. And it would still be faster than doing th this method, but this is that's like the most reliable way to do it. There's a bunch of low-level alpha Pokemon close together in the center of the map, so I'm just gonna go beat them all up and get another point. The experience gained will hopefully be enough to evolve the Zoro I got earlier on. The last alpha in this group, Graveler, I will catch and then trade with someone to get the trade evolution point. And finally, we go to Monkey Island. It's an island at the bottom monkey. of the map with a bunch of monkeys on it. I love it. I'll catch a Chimchar, and then I'll catch the Alpha Infinite, which is the last of the starters and Alpha Pokemon that I need to catch. So I'll get two points for that. So that's a- Okay, so this is the plan that Lucy had for this, right? But you already know, the best laid plans always go awry, right? And my plan was to run in and just d do things and see what happens. Maybe I can do two things at once, who knows? So which means I have zero plan. If I have zero plan, it cannot go awry. If things don't go wrong, then by the process of elimination, they must go right. If things go right, I win. 11 out of 25 points I can definitely do. There's Recover 10 Satchels, I'll try to remember that. If I have time, I'll do a Pokemon Outbreak. Could possibly get another couple points that way too if I'm good with my catches. Maybe even find a shiny. If I really have time, I'll rematch one of the Nobles, but probably not because I am bad at those. I actually did this one. I was, this is high risk, high reward, because if you die, you waste so much time. But if you do it really well the first try, you can get a point just like that. It's like really fast. Win the Alabaster Balloon Burst mission. That one's easy. Well, not, not really easy, actually. It's, <laughs> it's a little hard. <laughs> this to me, Daniel. <laughs> oh my God, that's. What's next? Catch a flying Pokemon in the air. <laughs> Oh no, that was really hard for me as well. The, th the trick for this is you have to wait until it comes towards you. That it'll swing around and it'll fly like towards you. That is the easiest way to get it. Because if you get it while it's like going the sideways, it's so hard to track properly, especially if you're not good at like third person shooters. Why are you gonna be like this? I'm not even gonna attempt that one. I have better things to do with my time. I think I did do I this one. This one is interesting. Phone a friend and ask for a Pokemon to catch, then catch it. So oh. depending on who I call, Cool. This could make my job a lot easier or a lot harder, so I've got to really think carefully about who I should pick. We'll come back to that one. The rest yeah, you of thought carefully, didn't you? Look based. Mm. Ursa Luna finding an evolution item, battling one of the bandits, getting a space time distortion. If they happen, great, more points for me, but either way, I think my plan's pretty solid. It's time for me to. That, that actually is a really good plan. I, I can't fault it. I mean, I went over that. into action. Are you ready to begin? I am. I am ready. Three, two, one. One. Go. Okay. okay. See you later. First, I'm going to Urza's ring. Because one of the things we gotta do is we gotta get eaten by an Earth Ring. It's gotta happen. Casualties will be had. Eat me. <laughs> Eat me. <Okay. laughs> oh, I could make so many jokes. No, no, I shouldn't. Not in this video. Oh, no, dear. I shouldn't. I shouldn't. I shouldn't. I shouldn't. That's one for the bingo board. Next, I have to go and get a Turtwig. That's one other thing. We gotta catch starter Pokemon. We gotta catch three starter Pokemon. 
It doesn't seem like I have a plan, but I very much do. Beautiful. All right, so that's, that's all I've got for Crimson Myelin. Oh, I love how it shows like the bar going up. That's really cool. We're gonna make some ultra balls. It's gonna be fun. Go, Lucy, go. That's what I'm doing. We're gonna do some crafting. It'll be fun. No one has ever enjoyed crafting. No one has sat there and be like, crafted 10 ultra balls and be like, woo, yeah, let's go. I'm just crafting 10. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Thanks, Game Freak. Right, I'm going. <laughs> no one said that I had to gather the materials. So I'm just, I'm going to cheat. That's 10 ultra balls. Another one for the big. There are some of these where I said you have to gather them, and there's some that I thought then you could have buy them. This might have been the one where you could buy them. I think I changed the rule after this because I was like, buying the materials is so easy. You could just, you have to gather them now. Bingo board, such skill. Next, next, I am going to Alabaster. What am I doing first in Alabaster? I think I want to catch the Swine Up. I believe Swine Up is like here-ish. I need a Swine Up because- for this, I just caught Wurmple. So I thought to myself, Wurmple, it evolves twice easily. Because one of the bingo board items is I've got to evolve a Pokemon. Oh, I just made a freaking shiny. <laughs> what? That's a bingo board. What was it? Freaking broke my. <laughs> Someone. She just found a shiny seven minutes into the challenge. Not even seven minutes in, not even seven minutes in, and she finds a shiny. That's how, how ridiculous is that? Does Pat find a shiny? No, Pat can't find a shiny. Pat never finds shinies in Legend Arceus. It's always really hard for him, but people just run around and they get 10,000 shinies a minute. Why is it so easy for everybody else? Why don't I have the shiny charm? This game is so hard for me. found a random shiny. <laughs> the skill, the skill. Six minutes. It took me six minutes to find a shiny. I wasn't even six doing outbreaks. Minutes. That's just pure talent. I just wanted the swine up, man. I was just looking for the big swine up. That was it. Hey, I might have found a shiny. Yeah, but I did heard. Your my tell my you? chat yeah. even yelled at me and then told me you got a shiny. That's insane. I did. I had a very good reason for catching the alpha because uh, the other naturally occurring swine up in the area, they're not quite high enough to evolve into pilo slime, so... Well, this is where my plan actually is better than Lucy's, because with Wurmple, you can evolve that super easily. You you beat up, like, one Pokemon at level 20, and they're boom, two levels, done. And with the Swine Up, oh, wait, in this game, you don't need to level up. Oh, never mind, she's smart. No, she's smart. I, I take it back, she's smart. Alpha. It is, it's level freaking 62. I forgot, you don't have it's to level a, up in this game. That's right. Guy. So we don't even have to do anything. <laughs> I don't know if it has ancient power or if I'll have to switch it out. It might have ancient power. Catch a Pokemon. Oh, but you need ancient power. Twice. That's four points. Never mind. Wait, uh, do I still have zero points while she has four? Okay, that, I'm, I'm getting a little depressed now. <laughs> Next, what I want to do is I want to find a Zorua. I'm on my way to find me a little Zorua. Nothing can go wrong. Everything went wrong. I knew roughly where Zorua was on the map, but you have to go down these holes in the ice to get to it. And they are over so the next annoying few to get to. I proceeded to get very lost. I'll do this. Oh yeah, I hated doing that. I mean, Zorua was cool and all, but like, do you have to be such a ball like to get to? Do you really have to be? Was it a requirement? Later, I can't be bothered. I was doing so well. There's usually a Riolu down here. So that's you can get a down here too. Such a neat. Oh, that's. What did it evolve? It vanished and then a Lucario came out. No. It looks like it evolved. Did that freaking just despawn? Like right as I as I got to it. Oh, I'm upset. I'm leaving. Goodbye. Oh, yeah, that was another that was another thing for the bingo board. See, I planned this out. I planned this out. I needed to get something to level 10. Research wise. Swine of it was on level 9. I just got that to level 10. So that's another one. Let's see what Patters is up to. Be nice and sneaky. Be nice and sneaky, okay? Be nice and... What the fuck? How did you get there? No, this is not sneaky! Uh, ex <laughs> excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Thank you. Never mind. Let's leave him alone. <laughs> Why? There's an hour worth of footage there, and you chose to pick the... 
pods where I just sound like a complete bumbling idiot. I'm eloquent. I can say the correct words in stringing sentences sometimes that make a lot of sense. I can say many things that sound like smart guy. I just didn't in that moment, all right? Uh, but it, uh, I promise you, there's an hour's worth of footage there. You took like 20 seconds. I, I, what's what's going on? Bidoof, I gotta catch 15 of these. <laughs> yeah, my Bidoof runs will have been for something because I know pretty much where all of them are located. Oh, an alpha. Uh, do I want to beat that? Yeah, I'll beat it. It's there. I wonder if she's going to put in the part where I try to get eaten by Ursaring. Alphas beaten. One. Great. I'm just going to go and catch a bunch of Bidoof because that's the plan. There's usually two around here. Look at them. Oh dear, I know where my Bidoof are. They're married. Oh, ooh. There's also Buizel. I need Lucy, to catch I just some... had the most stressful experience of my entire life. How are you Tell doing? Tell me. No, I, I just rematched Cleavor. I've n my heart was pumping. Oh my god, that's that's harder than I expected it to be. Wait, why are you rematching Cleavor? It takes ages. No, it I'm took two and a half minutes. I I I would I made pretty good. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'm, I'm just that. really bad at video games. I... Yeah, Lucy, maybe you're just really bad at video games, and I'm actually good at video games. And maybe you just need to admit that I'm good at video games, and that you're maybe you're the bad ones uh, actually, and that you just got a shiny because of luck, and I beat Clever because I'm skilled, and it's a skill diff, you know, maybe. <laughs> well, you know, I am pretty good at video games, so it makes. Uh, sense. Yeah, <laughs> I look so good in that. I look awesome. Are you behind? You're behind me, aren't you? Wait, no, no, I, we, we both have five, right? Um, I'm not too far behind. I think that's 11. Um, there's usually an Eevee somewhere around here with another Bidu. So that should be 12. I might reset at the other camp and see if I can find an Eevee. <gasps> see, there's one. There's one, an Eevee. Beautiful. We might not even get to use it because I'm pretty sure that I, I have to get the stone. Don't no, 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 no. You got Leafy. Okay. To be fair, it's totally fine that she forgot about Leafion and Glaceon because who cares about Leafion and Glaceon? Oh, I got him. It's fine. It's fine. Last video. It was at this point while editing the video, I had a horrible realization. That wasn't the last bit oof. I only caught 14, not 15. <gasps> that last point makes all the difference. So regretfully, I must sacrifice my point. It's fine though, because I also realized while I was catching these bits- No, Lucy cheated. And now I'm ahead? Hmm, interesting. Dude, I managed to get a point for catching 10 Pokemon without missing a throw. So it evens out, we're all good. Scale what difference. What's the plan next? Yeah, I'm going to go around here because there's a bunch of alphas like right next to each other. So it would be helpful. Cat has seven. Don't, Paris, like, don't died. be doing this to me. Look, it's going to come together. It all comes together and- it's a, Look, it is a close game right now. Look, I've got seven, Lucy's got six. We got about halfway through the, 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 the oh, round. Sun and moon. Cricketoon around here too. So that makes four alphas. We're going to Monkey Island. Let's see if I can get the Chimchar. I'm going as fast as I can. You have to understand, dude, chat, doing this is so stressful. It's got like, you have like an elevated heart rate for like the entire hour. It's so stressful because you have to play flawlessly. And if you don't, then people laugh at you and call you cringe because like, oh, you don't know how to play Pokemon in a baby's game. Okay, there we go. Uh, that's two alphas caught. Uh, that's three starters. You know what? That's an alpha. Why not? Let's go for it. That's the last one that I need to beat. Beautiful. Whip out the Giratina for the birds. Oh, there is something that I, I needed to do. So at this point, I'm around halfway through my time and I remember something. The call. I can call a friend and ask them to give me a Pokemon to catch. I Let's do that, Lucy. With who I should call and then I had the perfect idea. So, so <laughs> my good friend, What's Daniel, that? I have a question to ask you. I, I have been challenged. Me. I have been challenged to a Pokemon bingo game, and one of the squares says that I can I can call a friend and ask them <laughs> to yeah. give me a Pokemon to catch. Here's the deal: like you could pick something really hard for me, and I'd make it so much easier for yourself. But that's Ooh. the thing: like, do okay. you really want that cheap and hollow of a victory? You know. <laughs> Okay, okay. So you're calling me. I am. As your friend. Uh, okay, yeah. well, I, I'll, I will also call you. This was my tactic. I would guilt- Oh, no! What? That was- that was set up? She knew I would call- Oh, I got- I got manipulated? What? I, oh, I 
did. Oh my god, I thought we were just doing a fun bit. Old Patters into giving me an easy Pokemon to catch. What I wasn't counting on was him also asking me to suggest a Pokemon for him. A god. Oh, okay. All right, all right. I thought I got god there. Opportunity for me. Well, I was hoping that he would be above such underhand tactics. I'm not. I'm gonna give him the worst Pokemon that I can think of. I literally gave her something that wasn't that bad as well. I was trying to think of something. I could have gave her like Spirit Tomb. I could have gave her something like completely ridiculous, like the Flying Magna Zone or something like that. Something really stupid or the Flying Gyarados. I gave her. <laughs> Why don't we both type it in Discord and then we send it at the same time? Three, two, one, go. What? <laughs> that that's so me okay lucy told me to get garchomp i told her i get the alpha steelix I, I, the alpha steelix is so much easier to get than garchomp it's like insanely insanely easy you just go to this one place it's there it's not hard, hard to catch i didn't even know how to get garchomp at this point also it's way stronger than the alpha steelix it's like level ninety thousand. Oh, what a fine garchomp oh my god you're so <laughs> mean i have to follow victory I should have gave her spirit too. I should have. I should have. I literally should have done that. Like, oh, you could like really mess me up or give me an easy yeah. one. That? Yeah. God. All right. I'm gonna go catch a Garchomp. I guess. Bye. I thought he was gonna be nice to me. I thought he was gonna say like Eevee or something, but no. Why would you think I was gonna be nice to you? Oh, uh, this is a competition. This is a fight to the end. I was nice to you. Okay. Steelix is not hard to I get. I gotta go catch the Alpha Steelix. Uh, but there is something that I need to get from here. There's an Alpha Graveler around here. Wait, space time! Space time! And she gets- I can't believe this luck. I really- I- In the entire time that I played Legend of Arceus on my first playthrough, I saw a space time distortion two times. Two. And she gets one within 35 minutes of beginning this bingo challenge. Guess how many space time distortions I got in the bingo challenge? I didn't get any. No space time distortions right, for okay. Pat. Nope, not allowed. All right, I think I'm gonna give Ursula. Might as well find a shiny a in there too. <gasps> Yo! <laughs> I guess I know where I'm going now. Guess what Ursa Ring digs up for me? Balls of mud. I, know. I need a scyther. Okay. I deserve it for being so easily manipulated. Eh, yeah, you're probably right. We've got a revolution item. People that get manipulated deserve it. There we go. This is a, a Legends Arceus exclusive Pokemon. Very nice. <laughs> Someone needs to trade with me. Someone needs to trade with me very soon. I might be able to get evolutions in this. That would be good. Ooh, a weasel. I need some of those. Right. Okay. Good weasels. Need them for the tall large, one. I got a large one. All right, there we go. There's another one. Give me an evolution. I need one of those. Oh, a fire stone. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> no. That's such an easy way to get evolutions as well. Oh, man. That sucks. I mean, it's good for her, but it sucks for me. Beautiful. I'm doing pretty well. Let's check in on how Patters is doing. Oh no, please give me like a cool clip of me doing something sick. Like I did some cool things in this, all right? I I, I, I styled on the cleavor. I, I beat it in two minutes. Like give me Eat something cool. Eat me now. Eat me immediately. Eat me. I'm nutritious. I'm full of vitamin C. Die to Ursaren. Come on, come on, come on. If I die to you, dude, this is going to be real cringe. Wait, ow, ow, ow. ow. No, I died to Geo, dude! Oh no! Everything was. Yeah, no, that's what I. That's what I wanted. Actually, that was a really good clip. Thanks, Lucy. Going to plan. I traded the Graveler with one of my mods, and then I noticed something. The Pokemon they had traded me was a Chingling, which is a baby Pokemon. One of the items on the board is to get two baby Pokemon. It says catch, Lucy. No one said how I had to get them. It says catch. When I got my golem back, that made for 14 points with 10 minutes left. I gotta move. Next objective is to catch every Pokemon in an outbreak. That seems easy enough. I wasn't paying attention at the time, but while I was doing this, I actually filled out another objective, which was to catch six Pokemon while sneaking and without being spotted. I'm on a roll. So I that was hard for me. And I went on my merry way. I caught all of them. I did not catch all of them. This little Shinx is just waiting there and I'm gone. <sighs> After being made aware of my uh -oh. mistake, I brushed back and got him. Now Oh, okay. So, okay. I'm glad chat was there. Hey, shout out to Lucy's chat for correcting her oh, mistakes. Got five minutes left. What's. Shame you didn't correct the chingling error, did you? Next. Catch the Alpha Steelix. Oh, no. Thought it would be hard. That's it, easy. No, it was very easy. I told you I was literally easy. Thanks, Pat. Sorry oh, about the, the gotcha. I can't believe. Oh, God. oh, my God. That's such a cool clip right there. I love that. Oh, my oh, God. No. 
thought it would be hard. It, no, it was very easy. Thanks, Pat. Sorry about the, the guy. That's such a good clip. I'm so sad. It's only up for like a couple of frames. I love that so much. I can't believe she did that to me. Alpha Steelix is an easy one, to be honest. I can't believe I got scammed. It's level 85. Oh, Lucy, what have you done to me? This spams this forever? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> he looks at me. Oh, my God. No, it's looking at me. Oh, God. Chad, it looked at me. I'm going to throw up. Okay, I got time for one <laughs> last thing. Let's do this. You know, I, I'm pretty sure that you can find Budu uh, in the spring. Roselia, Roselia, Roselia. Budu, Budu, oh Budu. Yo, two. There's <laughs> a minute think, left. I think we might be done. Time, time is up. Oh my God. Time is up. I do, I do have a question to ask though, because this might determine another point. Did you catch Buizel? I did catch Buizel. I caught Ooh. one Buizel. I was skirting past one and I was like, I'm just going to steal you from your family real quick because I need to be <laughs> a tall boy. Okay, mine is Yoinkies. two foot five, which is respectable. I wouldn't call him a man. <laughs> two six. Two six. No! No! Two six? Being a two six Buizel is like being a six two, a human. Oh! You got 19 points. Okay, so even though technically I think one of the points was not supposed to be there, she would have won even if three of the points were invalid. So, so God I damn got it. 15. Well, listen, GG, congratulations. You won by a wide margin. Thank Good you. job. <laughs> a bad decision on your part hey, to challenge up. me. Yeah, but now we get to the reward of the winner. I actually was. I mean, you got a space-time distortion, a shiny. Yeah, I got lucky. How did you do that? My Ursa Luna found nothing but mud balls, and that's it. Nothing but mud balls. Straight up, I was on Ursa Luna for like a solid five minutes just picking up items. N only mud balls. Oh, congratulations on your massive, huge, ginormous W. Thank you. Did you get the gold <laughs> I did actually, it was really hard. I, it was killing my entire team. I, I just, I got so lucky. You, you're a demon for that one. I didn't know it was level 85. Oh, I mean, listen, even though I lost, this is a lot of fun. I had a good time. Yeah, it was fun. It, it was fun because I won. Commiserations, Daniel, an effort was made. I'd ask you for a rematch, but I just don't want to embarrass you any more than I already. Scott and Violet, run back, run back, run back right now. Run back right now, I'm ready, I'm ready. I, I can do it again, so I can do it again. again. I emerge victorious and have yet Biceps. another trophy to put on the shelf. But even more importantly, as the winner, I now have What did Candy Evie tweet on my on my verified Twitter account? The power to post anything I want to Patches' Twitter account. I only get one shot at this. I need to use it wisely. Candy Evie, that is it. And you have to pin it for 24 hours. Look, what can I say? I'm a businesswoman. This man has over 60,000 Twitter followers. I am absolutely going to milk that <laughs> and have him spread the good word. Now, and there's the tweet as well. There's the tweet. Oh, and she put my video in the end card as well. That was really nice of her. Oh, thank you so much. This was an awesome video. I thought this was such a fun race to do and the video came out so well in the end. Uh, you know, we like to poke fun at each other. It's, it's all in good fun. You know, you know how we British are. We like to talk to little bit of shit sometimes every now and again. It was absolutely fantastic. Make sure that you subscribed to Lucy. She uploads videos once every month or so, but they are so high quality that you need to watch them. You have to. She is the golden child of Pokachu. Thank you so much. And make sure you subscribe to this channel. We're almost at 100k. We're so close to being there.